The Massachusetts Museum is taking visitors back in time. It's a unique look at hundreds of years of clocks. Levin is here with this story, Lev. Hey, Liam, this all started because I wanted to know how long it would take to turn the clocks back in a clock museum. I figured it would take all the time in the world, and I was willing to help. But once I got to North Grafton and walked the grounds, I realized there was so much more to this. I experienced all the history. When the hand comes up to 12, this is what's happening. The Willard House and Clock Museum in North Grafton is a learning experience. The Willards are one of the cornerstones of early American clock making. They took very expensive objects that were meant for very wealthy people and started the road to making more small clocks that were less expensive. The museum is filled with timeless stories of clock making history, such as when the Willards moved to Roxbury. But their move to Boston uh, gave them a meteoric rise in the quantity uh, of clocks that they could produce and the quality of clocks that they could produce. <laughs> The museum also features about 90 clocks and timepieces, and some of the favorites are the simple ones. I, I have a lot of respect for those little gems, um, like one that we have on the uh, parlor mantle um, by Aaron Willard. So I know what you're thinking. This place must be a nightmare come daylight saving. What happens when you have to turn all these clocks back? Well, let me show you. Whew. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. With mechanical clocks, it's not a good idea to get in the habit of backing up the hands. So the easiest thing to do is just stop the pendulum and come back another, uh, an hour later, start it going again, and you're all set. I really thought that everybody had to kind of just wind the clocks. Um, and they have a winding Wednesday for the clocks that have to be wound. Interesting fact, though, there's a difference between clocks and watches. Besides the obvious size, a clock or a timepiece usually has a bell that goes off. Watches don't have that feature. Plus, clock people don't mess with watches. Their parts are too small. <laughs> and Liam and Kate, get this, the ticking in that place, crazy. Everyone there used to it. And the shoot was scheduled for 10 a.m. right on time. The clock struck 10, and all the alarms are bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Bell party. It was crazy. Yeah. No <laughs> napping on the job at that place. No, and I was yeah, wide awake. Every hour. You're jolted back to work. <laughs> Just a one hour nap. You know? Just yeah. a one hour nap. Off. Boom. Yeah. So. It's actually a good way to set your watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't Thank believe you, you just start, you stop the pendulum. That's yeah. all you yeah, do. That's all you do. You'd have to run to each one at the same time. I was so hoping that was going to be the case. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>